Hey everybody. In this video, we're going to replace the lamps in this Barco CN HD 81B. It uses two 300 watt projector lamps. The tools required for replacing these are actually quite basic. We only need a flathead screwdriver. I do also have a pair of needle nose pliers handy in case one of the old lamps is stuck, but I don't expect to need it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the power plug. You always want to unplug the power plug before you open the lamp access panel to a projector. It protects the projector and it also protects you from any of the high voltage. This particular model uses two lamps. They each have their own lamp access door. You can see that you can use a Phillips head there if you only have one, but you'll see why we're going to use a flat head in a moment. Just turn it until the screws are loose and then the door will flip right open. We'll open lamp door two as well. One neat design element of this, which I really like, is they utilize the light from the lamp to tell you which lamp is on. You can run this in single lamp or dual lamp mode and what will happen when the lamp is lit, let's see if you can see it, it lights up that little light pipe here so you would see this lit up when lamp one is running and if lamp two wasn't running it would look like that. When they're both running you'll see them both lit up. So it's, uh, it's a little feature but it's a neat feature. So the next thing we need to do is take the old lamps out. The old lamps are locked in using these lugs when they're horizontal that's locked. Unlocked is vertical. So just gently kind of push in and just turn 90 degrees. That's it. Once they're straight up and down, you'll feel the lamp is loose. And just pull straight out. These particular lamps have a decent amount of time on them. You can kind of see the heat started to get to this label. These lamps also have an integrated lamp hour counter. This chip and board here keep track of the amount of hours that the lamp runs for. One thing to always look for, especially in your new lamp, is that it has this reddish blue reflective coating that blocks the uh, infrared light from getting inside and damaging your projector. Not all lamps need it, but if your old lamp has that reflective coating, you can kind of turn it like that to see. Your new lamp should have it too. So we'll set that one over there. We'll do the same thing here. Again, they just pull straight out. Now these still work, but they're just running out of running out of life. Then the new lamps, I'll just kind of give them a uh, a visual once over. Check the lens coating. Looks good. Check the wires. Not too bunched up. Looks good. Then we're going to make sure our locking lugs are in the proper position for our install. In this case we want them set to unlock. So they're vertical. And then they just slide in on those locking slash alignment pins. Make sure I'm doing this right. There we go. Then I usually just put a finger up here to hold it. And then gently push. And then turn right counterclockwise 90 degrees. And that locks these in. Now you do have to be careful because if you overturn them, the uh, locking lugs will pop out. Again, if you push and turn too far, it will release this locking arm. We don't want that. So remember, only turn it 90 degrees at a time. So let me put them back to unlock. Again, they're all vertical. That means it's unlocked. And then slide it in. And now they're in place. The only thing left to do from here, close the lamp access door. 
Now this model lamp, the uh, Barco number, you can see here, R980-1272, that crosses to a projection design 400-0400-00, same lamp. And if you need to purchase one for your Barco or projection design or other compatible projector, just hit the uh, link down in the description. I put one down there. And there should be a discount code in there too. So feel free to use that and save yourself a couple bucks. Next thing we need to do is test the projector. So let me get the power cord. After that, we have to wait a moment while the internals boot up. A pretty nice projector it has a uh, an accessory light down here so you can see your plugs in the dark and it also has a display here that tells us about the lamps so let's see we should see lamp run time zero hours lamp time remaining 2000 we should see the same thing for lamp two so now Let's take it out of standby mode. And it's warming up. Now this particular projector is used in a mega church, so it has a super long throw lens on it. I only have this about three feet or one meter from the wall. So there's no way in heck I'm gonna get a focused image out of it, but we will at least be able to see it projecting something. I'll slide it back. Maybe it'll make it a tiny bit clearer. You can see we do have a uh, that I, I think that says Barco or warming up. Oh, that definitely says Barco. You can see back here that display says everything's on. Up there has a menu but we can't read it because it's not focused. But that's all there is to it. That's how you replace the lamp in a Barco projector. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Unfortunately, being that this is not my projector, I can't peel the blue stuff off no matter how badly I want to. It's all over the place and I really want to peel it off, but it's not mine, so I can't. So, as usual, thanks for watching.